Hello, Cosmic Family. It's your girl, Cosmic Jazz 222. And today, I am back with another pick a card reading. So, as you can tell by the title, this is for anyone who is currently in a situationship. Or, in other words, a connection that does not have a label, a connection that is not defined, and perhaps you might be on shaky ground or you don't know where you stand with this person. Maybe this could also be a no contact situation. So if you resonate with any of those, this video is for you. And the premise of this pick a card is to see if this situation will last, okay? There's a reason why I'm doing this, guys, because we are in a Mercury retrograde and we're also in eclipse season. And there's a lot of transits happening right now that are very triggering for relationships, especially those... Um, that are not necessarily on stable footing, stable grounds. So my whole purpose is to give you guys some insight in what to expect, what's li what lies in the future, and honestly, what you can do about it. So for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Jazz, Jasmine, and I am a little psychic here on YouTube. And I basically do videos for tarot, astrology, anything dealing with spirituality, religion and what's happening up in the stars in our reality so what i'm gonna do is guys since this is a pick a card i'm going to display the piles and um on the screen and what you can do is you can pause the video meditate on the piles and see which one resonates with you see which one is calling for you okay um if you have a little bit of issues choosing with your intuition you can most definitely go on a random number generator on google and it'll generate a number for you and that will be your pile okay guys um time descriptions not time descriptions time stamps will be in the description and in the comment section okay so i'll see you guys at your video bye hello pal one welcome to your reading so this is a video in regards to if your situation will last okay guys so this is for any of you guys who are in situationships any connections that may not necessarily have a label on it um it might be a little bit complex a little bit confusing or maybe just maybe you are in a connection but you just don't know where you stand with this person you don't know what's to come maybe you guys recently broke up and you know you're deciding to get back together but there isn't a label this video is for you so i'm going to take a look into your energy and see what advice you need to hear in regards to the future of this situation i want to remind you guys remember do what's best for you pal one okay and make sure that your needs are being met. Just know you do deserve something that is stable and something that is, you know, acquainted with what you truly need in a connection. So with that being said, I'm going to first look into your energy. I want to see how you're doing, okay? All right, Pat One. So what? let me look into your energy. What do you need to know? What is Pat One's current energy? in relation to their situationship. Oh, power one. So the card you have is pain. And then the overall energy is passion. Underlying energy is flow. So what's so interesting about this, power one, the situationship that you're in, whoever you're with, I do feel like there's a lot of passion. I feel like there's a strong emphasis on intimacy and sensuality. I am picking that up. This person definitely does um, light up your flame for sure. And you do the same with them. But pal one, I am seeing with your main energy, you are currently in pain. I see you very sad. I'm seeing, I'm feeling like pressure in my heart. And I'm feeling a lot of heaviness. So I do feel like the situation has really hurt you in many ways on different levels. And right now you might be taking a step back. Maybe you are you are deciding that, hey, maybe we need to take a break, right? Or you're just allowing things to play out. If it if it happens, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But if it isn't, then oh well 
to the next so power one i feel like you're you are in a bit of limbo right now when it comes to this situation i actually feel like something recently occurred that brought you a lot of pain i feel i kind of feel like it is a, it is a tower moment um if you don't know what tower moment is is like a huge disruption something that occurs out of nowhere something that's unexpected and it really changes the course of how things are going so i feel like there has been some massive changes when it comes to your situationship okay but i am feeling a lot of hurt here so we're gonna get into it yeah space so i do feel like you might be taking space from this person or maybe they're taking space from you i am seeing distance and isolation so we're gonna look into what you can expect in regards to this um situationship i'm going to pull a plethora of cards so we'll see all right so what does pal want you to know about their situationship wands will the situationship last let's see you have the three of cups reversed mm, yeah this is clear as day um pal one i'm seeing i see what's going on i'm gonna pull one more will the situationship last the sun reverse okay I'm going to pull from a different deck. Will this situationship last? What does Pal 1 need to know about their situationship? We have Mask. Don't worry, I'll, I'll go over the cards with you. We have the Grim Reaper. And then lastly... Can I get one more card, please? I like you. And then we have Ascending as the overall energy. So, Pow One, let's stop here, okay? Let, we'll pull more cards, but I want to go over this. So, it's clear as day, Pow One. There is another person or multiple people in the picture. This is clear as day. So let's start off with the three of wands. I'm seeing that we have two cards that show the number three, okay? The three of wands, usually I see this as three, three people, right? Three people who are passionate, three people who are possibly, you know, intimate. But three of wands also speaks of growth and looking ahead. So pal one, I do feel like starting off the reading you are trying to remain positive about this situation you are trying to see the good and see the potential and i think you do see potential with this person right but a part of me is feeling like a part of you knows that this will not last but you're trying to remain positive you're trying not to let this get to you so for some of you guys some of you are trying to look forward and see where this will lead. For others of you, you're trying to look forward as in away from this situation. You're trying to move forward away from it and looking elsewhere. So yes, pal one, some of you guys are looking elsewhere. You're trying to disconnect from the situation. Again, apply it to your own story. But once we go from the three of wands to the three of cups reverse, you see how this is gossip, isolation, loneliness, and scandals? I do feel like there is a third person here. And I it's only being clarified by the Seven of Swords. I'm seeing someone here playing the field. Now, pal one, maybe this is you. Maybe you realize the situation isn't good for you, so you are looking elsewhere. Um, and maybe there's something you're keeping a secret or... This is the person you're dealing with they are looking elsewhere and maybe you know about it i feel like you do know you do know or you have some form of 
intuition that's telling you that, hey, you're not the only person they're giving their time to. Okay. For some of you, I feel like this, there's a friend group involved here. Um, maybe it's a friend that's a third party. There, there's definitely a third party here for sure. But this could be a friend. This could be someone you know. This could be someone who you see as the opposition, as an enemy. But just know that when it comes to the situationship, I do feel like there is a third party. And I'm seeing that with the Seven of Swords. Someone here is being manipulative. Someone here is being two-faced, not showing all their cards. And it's only being clarified by the mask. Okay? Someone might be even gaslighting, hiding the fact that they're playing the field and trying to keep a secret. And I'm seeing like someone question, like, hey, are you... You know, are you looking elsewhere? Um, are you interested in someone else? Are you playing with somebody else? And I'm seeing so the other person saying no. Like, no, like, I'm not doing that. You know, but Murad, they are. They are. Now, when it comes to if the situation will last, I am getting a heavy no. I'm getting a no, especially with the sun reversed. To me, when I see the sun reverse, I see this as a no. If the sun was upright, there could there could be some type of um, potential here. But the sun represents revelations when it's reversed. Things that are secret coming to light. Usually things that are not good. Things that are bad news, right? Things we do not want to hear. The sun card reverse can even speak of pessimism. So, pal one, I can say for a fact, you know that this won't last. Some of you may not want to believe that. Some of you may not want to hear that. Some of you may not want this to be the outcome, but you know this is the inevitable outcome. And I see that with the Grim Reaper here. This literally says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So this is telling me that this situation will be done and over with. And this is definitely connected to the eclipses. So if you look back at the dates surrounding the eclipses, you may notice that possibly there have been certain events happening in your situation around these astrological events. If that is true, you are in alignment. Funny enough, this was all supposed to happen. The main thing is you were supposed to learn a lesson with this, okay? And that's why I started off your reading saying, know what's best for you and do what's best for you. You deserve what you desire. And I, and I have a feeling, Pal One, you know what you went through was not something you desired. This is not what you deserve. Now, when we have I Like You, what's so interesting is I feel like this person is flirty. Like, they're very much out there. They're a social butterfly, I have a feeling. But I do feel like they do have feelings. They do. But it's not to the point of, I will commit to you. I love you. You mean the world to me. You mean something to me. I don't think it's there. When I see that I like you, it's, it's more of I like you. I like how you look. I like the vibes, but I'm not going to commit. I like the intimacy because there's a lot of passion here. I can see that. Too much passion. Someone here might be too sexual, okay? May have too much of a drive, may be having addictions to that, right? They like all of that, but... They want to keep it superficial. But what's so weird is why keep things a secret if you're not going to take things seriously, you know? So that's what I'm seeing for you, pal one. You're trying to remain strong. I'm getting heavy Leo, Leo placements. So sun, moon, rising, even Venus, or maybe a stellium. Someone here could be a Leo. But with the full card underneath the deck, reverse, you do know you do know what's what's really happening um and you're trying your best not to be foolish you can see the big picture here um and someone here is definitely maturing and someone is definitely maturing i feel like it's you pal one okay so let's pull some more because i want to see um yeah like the energy surrounding it but yes to answer your question i don't see this leading to anywhere you're actually being guided to keep your distance and completely cut ties with this um this individual because someone here is a liar um 
they, they're not true. They keep things a secret. Um, and you don't need that pain, pal one. You don't. I see you are in pain because of this. You're hurt. Okay, what does pal one need to know about the situation, ship? Okay, so we have change, courage. So pal one, I do see you moving moving away from this you could potentially be physically moving but you are being fueled with the courage to move on even though you're afraid of what's to come even though you're sad and you're in pain because of what has happened and the fact that this has to end you are going to make that change i see you walking away i see you holding your head up and realizing i deserve better this is not for me now interesting enough this person will still be watching you from afar okay it's weird it's like they don't want to let you go but they don't want to commit to you right and it's so it's, it's a bit of a contradiction we have seed spring so definitely this spring as spring continues and comes to a close you will notice that you will be changing and you will be manif you know transforming and manifesting and the situation will definitely go through its changes Yeah, so moving physical. Yeah, someone here is changing locations and moving away. I keep seeing that. I keep seeing bags packing. Yeah, packing up bags. I'm seeing keys. I'm seeing the car. I apologize for the background noise. I have my window open. Okay, let's see. Anything else Paul wanted to know about their situation? Yeah, karmic third party. Mm -hmm. This is this was a lesson for you, and I know some of you guys are not going to want to hear that, but it is. It it was a lesson. We have um, air, ace of swords. You will know the truth by the end of this eclipse season. So basically, end of April, you'll know everything. I'm also getting an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's good? What the good news is, I see a. I'm seeing a seed being planted here. So even though something is going to come to an end, something else is going to be born out of it. I'm sorry for the shaking. Comfort zone, south note. Yeah, you're you're being called to release. Some of you guys might be holding on to this, but you the best thing for you to do is to let this go. It's not worth the heartache, pal one. You know that. And your ancestors are trying to help you transmute this, okay? And they want you to be open to receiving something new. You are ascending, pal one. This is part of your spiritual path. You're actually awakening because of this. And you're being called to be open and receptive to the new, to what's really meant for you. Yeah, renewal. There's something else, pal one. Like there is something else meant for you, not this something that's better i just put that we have verge about to reveal and confess so it could be somebody else confessing to you so i'm seeing that there is another person here pal one that's interested in you someone else is interested in you you may not know it but you will find out yeah whatever this is this is faded interesting okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull some messages in regards to the person you're dealing with to see what they have to say to you. I really feel like a lot of you guys are no longer talking to this person, like you're keeping your distance or maybe this person is keeping their distance. Um, this could be a no contact situation, but yeah, just know there is another person and I'm really sorry about that, pal one. I know it hurts. I know what it feels like. So I am sending my prayers to you. Now we're going to pull from this deck. This is my messages deck. What does Pao need to know regarding the person they're in a situation with? What does Pao want need to know? What messages does their person want to say to them? Okay, so first card is i didn't respect you back then our beliefs don't align so the person you're dealing with they are acknowledging the fact that you two want different things 
you two are on different wavelengths and that your morals, your traditions, your values do not coincide. Someone here is very traditional, wants something traditional. The other person is very much unconventional, to say the least. I'm shy to talk to you, so I feel like this person wants to say something, but they are keeping their distance. We have, I have spiritually grown. So not only was this a lesson for you, this was a lesson for them. And they are growing from it. They find you very beautiful and attractive. So again, the passion is there. I don't want to talk to you. So, let me pull some more. What's so great about them? Mm, yeah, pal one. You know what's crazy? For some of you guys, both of you, both of you have a third party. Both of you are dealing with someone else. So, <laughs> this person may know about the person you're now talking to or will be talking to. This is how they're feeling. So I am seeing a bit of competition. Um, yeah, this situation is just really toxic. But um, even though they want to say something, they're not going to say anything. That's what I'm getting with. I don't want to talk to you. So don't wait on them. Next one is we will grow old together. This came across their mind at one point. We have, you know, what's, okay, hold up. And then we have my love for you is unconditional. You know what's crazy, um, pal one? I don't, f so now that I'm looking at this, I'm seeing two energies. I'm seeing two energies again. So this feels like the person you were dealing with in the situation. This feels like someone new. However, I feel like part of the messages are connected to this person. So in this deck specifically, the orange represents the karmic response. Um, this represents more of a aligned divine response. So I'm seeing the karmic. This person is not respectful of you. They don't want to talk. Um, there's a little bit of jealousy and competition and they put you in competition. But there's someone else here that wants to talk to you, that wants to see where things go. Um, they see a lot of potential. And I'm seeing that there's genuine love that can be here. This person is more spiritual, more awakened, more aware. And I feel like this, they they do align with your values. So, power one, move forward. And again, be open to the new. There's someone there's someone else here that's for you. But you need to disconnect from this, okay? I know it's going to be hard. I know you are hurt by all of this. But now it's time to move forward. This situation is done and over with. You got something else better coming for you. So there is a happy ending here, okay? Now, with that being said, pal one, um, I hope that resonated. I hope that gave you clarity. And I'm sending you guys a lot of love, all right? Take it easy. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello, pal two. Welcome to your reading. So this will be in regards to if your situationship is going to last so this is for all of y'all who are in a connection that does not have a label that's not defined that might be a little bit complicated maybe you don't know where you stand with this person maybe just maybe you broke up with them but you can't you guys got back together but you're not putting a label on it like it's for y'all even for those who are in no contact situations all right so i'm gonna go ahead and do a reading for you guys so you can have some clarity and have some advice and guidance on how to deal with this, how to move forward, possibly. So we'll look into it. So what I'm going to do first, pal two, I am going to pull on your energy. And I want to see where you're at currently in regards to this um, situationship, okay? So pal two... What is Pal 2's energy in regards to the situationship that they're dealing with? 
Mm. So we have strength. The card that tried to come out with it was peace. We got consciousness. And you know, I'm gonna put this here since it wanted to come out. So pal two, I really like your energy because I feel like part of you don't want this situation to continue. I feel like some of you guys have made peace with the fact that things are going to remain the same and there won't be any changes that are beneficial for you or impossibly for the person you're dealing with. A lot of you guys are very awoke, okay? You guys are woke. You guys are consciously awakened and aware and you look at things from a deeper perspective and i see you as someone who is very strong you know you don't even let the little things bother you and i see you have found your strength throughout this whole situation and you're making peace with it you understand why things are playing out the way they are you understand why things possibly are a little bit wonky with you and your person in mind and part of you understand why that person is acting the way they are so you're not taking things personally pal too that's what i'm getting it's like hey if, if we work out we work out but if we don't we don't i don't care i like that for you okay i, I like that so let's let's take a look into what's going on with your situation and if it's gonna last Ooh, not the death card mm, okay hold up Let, let's 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 start pulling well, how to situationship last? Will it last? Show me the energy surrounding it. We have the four, the five of cups reversed. Will it last? Okay, that's too many cards. Will the situationship last? Okay. Cups. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. And then the Ace, I mean not the Ace, the Page of Pent Pentacles reversed. Over energy is the Sun. Underlying energy is the Devil card reverse. Wow, pal tool. You are powerful. Let me just say that you are very, very powerful. Um let me pull from my other deck and then we'll start channeling but you are just wow okay okay we have girl talk we have i like you we have keys on a ring and then we're going to do one more. Ascending. Over energy is boat. So, pal two, you know what? You know what I'm seeing? You are you are applying pressure when it comes to the situation, okay? I feel like you have been withdrawing yourself from this person. So, do I feel like this person was playing around with you you know playing with your emotions or maybe not putting an effort not trying i do feel that now starting off with the five of cups reverse this is all about acceptance this is all about um being positive and moving on from disappointment okay the next card is the ten of cups which is a happily ever after essentially this is you obtaining everything you want emotionally, okay? You feeling stable within yourself. Next, we have the Queen of Cups reverse. This is, <coughs> I'm not going based on the words because I read it my own way. Queen of Cups reverse, this is usually someone who isn't um, open emotionally. Someone who is withdrawing their support, their nurturing side from someone else. This can even speak of someone who could also be smothering someone who can hold a grudge. And then we end off with the Page of Pentacles reversed, which is possibly a bad investment or also not meeting expectations. 
So here's the thing, pal two. I do feel like there was some toxicity within the situationship and I feel like you got out of it or you're choosing to get out of it because you are no longer putting in effort or showing up. This is causing the other person to take notice of this and I see them panicking a little bit. Now, in regards to will this situationship last, the sun is upright and I'm seeing the devil card reverse, which is all about reclaiming your power and the sun is all about things that are positive so here's the deal i'm seeing two scenarios playing out each one of them you still benefit so the first scenario is because you are withdrawing your energy and because you are no longer taking any bs and you don't really care right this is going to cause this person to step up and try to figure out you trying to figure out what you want for some reason, I still see this person around your energy and I see them trying to figure out how to appease you, how to gain your attention again. And once this happens, once you start seeing them putting in the effort, maybe things could lead to something more. So that's the first scenario. The second scenario is they don't really step up to the plate or they don't meet expectations even though they're returning. You still move on and leave them behind and you don't care. And I actually see you in that second situation entertaining other people. Even in the first situation, I see you entertaining other people. So, pal two, I'm seeing a roster. <laughs> pal two, I'm seeing a roster. You actually have a list of people, people lined up for you. That's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. And it's like, even if this person is not you know, showing up and not really meeting expectations, you're not sweating it. You know why? Because you can easily replace this person. Holy crap. And I'm seeing you with your friends, pal, too. Your friends are really helping you. Your friends are helping you to have fun, to expand your horizons, to not be set on just one person, especially if they're not getting what you want. Um, I'm seeing a lot of flirting. I'm seeing dates. Like, I'm seeing... Yeah, that's why you're happy because you you're getting... You're being taken on multiple dates or you're taking multiple people out on dates. Like I'm saying that. And then keys to a ring. Yeah, having many options. Right? And then we have ascending. Preparing for union. Learning. Expanding. So, whatever the case may be, pal two, you have the power in the situation. If you really want this person, right, you can have them. But it involves you withdrawing i see you withdrawing i see you putting your attention to maybe other people or something else and this person's coming right along coming right back to you now is this going to last in the long term that i'm not too sure it's dependent on if you guys can work things out in a healthy way because i'm seeing if they really want this and they end up putting effort this could be something because i see them seeing your worth i see them understanding what type of person they're dealing with, you know? So there's potential. And, you know, this could lead to something. But I just feel like, pal two, you don't really care <laughs> because you have multiple people. This person may be your main squeeze at the moment, but if they're playing around, you can easily replace them with someone new. Dang, okay. So let me let me pull some more cards. So regard if this if this situation ship gonna last, it it depends on them. Well, and actually, it depends on you. That's number one. You have the final say in all of this. So if you want to make this work, keep doing what you're doing. Keep focusing on you. But if you don't want this to work, if you're ready for something new, you have the okay. But just know they're gonna be running and chasing after you. <laughs> okay. Because I see you no longer giving your attention, okay? You're being very... And I have to I have to say this, pal, too. It may come off as a bit manipulative. It may come off as you stringing them along, you know, giving... I see you giving breadcrumbs. It's like, oh, if you're not going to step up to the plate and align with me, then I'm not going to give you a lot of my attention. I can... I might play around with you a little bit, but if you're not going to be serious, I'm not going to take you seriously. That's literally your energy, pal, too. So it may come off as manipulative, but it's just you are making sure you're not becoming attached to someone who's not taking you seriously. That's all. You are taking your power back. I'm seeing you being released and I'm seeing you and the you have the upper hand. You do. 
and it's driving this person insane. You have them wrapped around your finger, Pal 2. You do. Let's see, what else does Pal 2 need to know about if um, this situation going to last? Okay, there's too many cards. Is this situation going to last? What does Pal 2 need to know? We have Remember, Awakening. Remember who you are. Remember your power. Remember your value, Pal 2. Once you do that, that's how you're able to overcome everything. That's how you're able to maneuver through any type of situation. We have act, attraction, Mars hot. Wow. You might be an Aries, pal, too. You could have Aries placements, Leo. I'm also seeing Capricorn. I'm even seeing Scorpio, Pisces. We have thirsty, drama queen. We have, and then integration union. And then we have Divine Masculine. Interesting. And then Lockbox, Close and Trap Frustrated. So <laughs> this is, so again, pal two, there is potential here. But there's something about you with, okay, with this drama queen, I'm not seeing this as a bad thing. Because this feels like your energy. It doesn't matter your gender or whatever. But I feel like with this drama queen, it's kind of like being a little, I see you being bratty, pal two. I see you saying, okay, if you're not going to do this for me, then... Leave me alone. Pack your bags. I don't want you. And the song I'm channeling right now is Irreplaceable by Beyonce. So that's like you don't care. And because you don't care, because you're not being so clingy with this person, they're going to be coming back. And I'm seeing a union here. But even if it's not dealing with this person, if you choose to move forward, there is a still another union to come. But I'm definitely seeing someone taking action i'm seeing a little drama here i'm not gonna lie they will be fighting for your attention they will feel like they're in competition for you again this is based on if you truly see that this could lead to something it's based on you i don't feel like this person is a bad person i don't think they are but it's just it's kind of like you need to give them a wake-up call and make them realize you're not just a regular person you know you got value and i see you I see you as a hot commodity. We got happiness. We have current status available, single. We have settlement, agreement, compromise. Okay, last. Will the situation ship last? And then we got Mercury. So here's what I'm getting, pal, to. If you are currently not talking to this person, if you're keeping your distance or you're just like giving them the bare minimum, I see communication. I see them wanting to compromise. And I'm hearing, okay, what do you want me to do? What do you what do you need from me? What can I do to fix this? What can I do to make it up to you? Like I'm hearing all of those words. And you're just sitting back like, well, here's my expectations. Here's my standards. If you can align with it and I can align with your standards, then we're good. But if you can't, leave leave me alone yep receive how to you are yeah i see toxic unhealthy behavior yeah so there's some toxicity and unhealthy behaviors that still need to be addressed but because you're putting up your guard because you're standing your ground this person i see them kneeling to you i'm gonna i'm gonna be completely honest and i keep seeing cars relating to union so the five of cups it says reunion on this we have union here we have compromise um, and it's like because you're acting single, well, technically you are single, right? Because you're out here and single and you're attracting all this attention, this person's coming back. And this is how you you learned how to utilize your power and attraction. And I do feel like they're going to try to make it up to you and create a solid foundation. So the ball is in your court, pal, too. I feel like this could lead to something. But that's if they want to, you know, be mature about it. Be the person that you are asking for, you know. So I want to pull some um, some messages. What would they say to you? What do, you want, what do they want to say to you right now? Okay, what does Pow 2's person want to say to them? I do this to everyone. No one can stop me. So that's why 
they're going to be very confused and not know how to handle you because whatever they've been doing like playing games they did this to everyone in the past pal too but for some reason because you are putting a stop to it you know you're kind of you're kind of sunning them let's be real you're kind of making them kneel before you now they're they're like they're at a loss for words they don't know how to handle you we have you are my partner in crime they see you as an equal or they will be seeing you as an equal pal too i keep getting aries like this is such an aries thing to say so maybe maybe someone here got aries placements we also have mars i'm also getting scorpio We were meant to be in each other's lives. So that's this is what they want to say to you. They feel like you guys were meant to be. You guys are perfect for each other. Okay, that one has too many cards. Just too many cards. You inspire me. In other words, you're lighting the flame up there behind. That's what you're doing. You're literally lighting that flame up and making them like finally take action. Finally set things straight. Yeah, you see, it says you were too clingy, too clingy, my bad. So maybe that's why they started acting weird because you became clingy and we did have smothering up here. So because they felt like you were clingy, they started to distance themselves. Um, and I feel like now that you kind of cut off those emotions, now they're returning. So... Hmm. What else do they want to say? What else do they want to say to Pal too? Ooh. one day we'll be together so yeah if you guys are in separation it's only gonna be temporary they're gonna make a return i know we were i know we are soulmates wow pal to this wow okay they really are waking up aren't they thank you for the memories and the lessons so you taught them a lot and it's kind of like you humbled them, pal, too. That's what you were doing. They thought they could just walk all over you. They thought they could just, you know, do what they can do. But you started doing you more, you know? You started kind of playing their same game, giving them a taste of their own medicine, and they don't like it. Okay? They do not like it. All right. So let me pull from this deck. Let me see. just want to double check. Anything else they want to say to Pal too? Oh Lord. Okay, my bad. I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> Pal Tzu, you made them obsessed. I don't know where to start. We also have unblocked, so you probably blocked them. And they're gonna try and make a return. If I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. You see? So they they wish they handled the situation um, differently because they, they're realizing the gem you were. Okay? And they're questioning, why do I feel this way? Because they never felt this way towards anybody else. You know, it kind of felt like they treated people as disposable. And now that you're doing that to them, it's like now they're trying to figure out what 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 you're about now you know especially if you guys are separated so hmm. and then underneath underneath the deck was don't put up with my bs so that's what you're doing you're not putting up with their bs and that's causing them to want to come back so pal too i don't think this is over um i feel like they will try to come back and talk to you and try to figure out what they can do to make it up it's up to you if you want them it's up to you even if you say no you're going to be gifted with something else, okay? But uh, can I be honest, though? If you were to go back to them, even though they feel strongly about you because of the unhealthy behaviors I'm seeing, and I'm sh seeing their shadow aspect as well as yours, if you guys don't do the healing work, um, this may not last for the long run, like forever. It may just be like a couple more years, that's if y'all do not do the work and work on your communication and work on your issues together. So just want to put that out there. 
But besides that, pal two, this is what you're dealing with. This is what's to come. And I hope this gave you clarity. Bye. Hello, pal three. Welcome to your reading. So this will be a reading in regards to whether your situation will last or not. And of course, I'm doing this because of the retrograde and eclipse season. So the whole premise is if you are currently in a situation where the relationship does not have a label, there isn't any clarity about where you stand with this person or where the situation is leading to. Maybe you're in a no contact situation. Maybe things are complicated and very rocky at the moment. Whatever the case may be, if that is your story, this will be a reading for you to gain clarity, guidance, advice, and see what to expect and how to go about things in the future, all right? So before we start looking to the situationship, I want to see where you are standing energetically, okay? How you are energetically, how you're feeling, okay? So let's go ahead and let's look. Let's look into that. How is Pal 3 currently feeling in regards to the situation ship? How are they feeling? How is Pal 3's energy? Pal 3's energy. Okay. We have protection. Mm, okay. Overall energy is fear. And then the underlying energy is disruption. Okay, Pal 3. First and foremost, I am seeing anxiety, I'm seeing you confused, and I'm seeing you not wanting anything to do with this situation, okay? So, yeah, and then we have cleanse. So, pal three, I'm hearing, I need to get away from this. I can't deal with this anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm hearing that specifically. And I'm just seeing a lot of disruption. I'm seeing drama. This, to me, is the tower card uh, technically so i'm seeing a major unexpected event happening that completely changed the dynamic between you and this person okay you don't know what lies ahead you feel like there's a lot of mystery surround this situation ship and you want to protect yourself from this you feel drained you feel energetically drained from this and you feel like you need a good cleanse or you need to cleanse this person out of your life so that's how you're currently feeling about this and wow Get your, definitely put up your protection. I would say that. Definitely do that. Just know you are also protected. Um, I'm intuitively feeling that whoever you're dealing with, their energy is definitely darker. It's heavier. And you are being protected from them. They are going through a tower moment. I feel like they're about to go through something themselves. And you're being pushed aside so you, that you won't have to feel what they're going through. They're going through something karmic, I'm seeing. And you're being pulled out of the situation or they're being pulled out of your life that's what i'm getting intuitively okay so let's look into the situation okay let's see what's going on what is going on in the situation ship will this last will pal three situation ship last what is the energy surrounding it okay we have the page of pentacles We have the seven of swords of course of course we have the devil card of course oh my goodness yeah you see that's why that's why we that's why you need protection that exactly why i'm gonna get into it but look you got justice justice is here though mm, and the tower moment it's like i'm psychic or something right <laughs> i'm just kidding um pal three and we have the magician with the empress as the underlying energy okay pile three here's the thing boo if you continue on with the situation ship it's only going to become more dramatic it's going to become more toxic and it's going to be more difficult for you to handle there will be more karmic debt that you will be feeling there's a lot of heaviness i'm seeing and i see that you will not be in a good mental place with this person this person is fighting their own demons and it's like you don't want you don't want that attached to you. Let me just say that. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of addictions. This person deals with a lot of addictions. I'm seeing someone like smoking. 
I heard gambling too. Some something someone might have a gambling addiction. That might not be for all of you, but someone has a lot of vices. Okay. Um, I'm just getting some very deceptive manip. This person. This person feeds off of other people's energy. They are an energy vampire, pal. Three, they are. They really are. And I want to pull some more cards. Let me let me just see real quick. See, this this is exactly why you 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 feel like you need to cleanse. We have the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, and revelation, mm -hmm. and then protection, you see? Dang, that just flew. We have twin flames. Don't worry, I'll talk about that. I will talk about that. We have heartbroken too. Mm -hmm. We have the runner. Yep. Runner in a codependent relationship. And then let's do one more card. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship. Love bombing. Yep. Bow three. And then we have sunglasses. Watching and gaslighting. So pow three. Let me just get this out of the way. You are not in a twin flame connection. Somebody needs to hear that. You are not in a twin flame connection. You are not. Someone here is a runner. I'm seeing that. Someone here comes in and then they go out. Comes in when they need something, when they want to fulfill their desires and their needs. And then they go out when they're starting to feel too much of a connection. This is not, I repeat, this is not a twin flame connection. This is heavy karmic written all over it so whoever you're dealing with not only are they a runner i'm seeing narcissism okay and i don't want to use that lightly i don't want to use that lightly they are self-absorbed they are in it for themselves and they could they will continue to make decisions that are best for them okay It feels like I'm hearing, pal three, you felt like you got dragged to hell and back because of them. They made your life a living hell, quite literally. And I feel like you came into this situation wanting something stable. You had a lot of potential. It felt, it felt like there was potential, pal three. Maybe they put up this front like they were a good person, Um that they wanted the same things as you, that they wanted to invest, sold you a beautiful dream. That's what I'm getting. But I'm seeing that this person is a con artist. Okay, they are a con, I can't even speak, a con artist. They were not being truthful when it came to that. And I feel like you found out, you found out some things regarding them. I'm seeing them having another side. I'm seeing a lot of duality. They say one thing, they present one way, but they are a complete opposite. This is a master manipulator, pile three. I'm seeing even Gem I'm seeing Gemini in my mind's eye. So they could be a Gemini or they have Gemini placements or maybe Gemini season is significant. Maybe you are a Gemini. I'm also getting Capricorn. I'm also getting Aries and Scorpio, Pisces. But this person is a love bomber. Again, there was a lot of potential, but then you saw another side to them. Recently, you saw another side to them or you've been seeing another side to them and it scares you. Um, you feel like emotionally you have been taken advantage of and I think you're done. You're done with it. It's too much of a headache. I'm seeing you heartbroken because of this and I feel like you do not want anything to do with this person. There's a lot of passion I do feel like that's possibly the one thing that is binding you two together. But let me tell you, passion will not be sustaining in the long run. And I'm seeing Clara's Day, Pal 3, you need to get away from this person. Do not deal with them because I'm seeing this is like, this is like catastrophe, okay? I'm seeing a lot of drama. I'm seeing a lot of control here. Someone controlling 
someone using manipulation to get what they want. This person, I do not, I, and I have to say this, Pile 3, I don't like their energy at all. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like this for you. And I think you know that. It's like they play games for a living. They and that's why I kept that's maybe that's why I kept saying gambling. Like they like to gamble. They, maybe not literally, but energetically, they like to gamble. They like to play games. They like to see if they like. I'm seeing a game of chess. You know, they strategize. They're too strategic. Whoever this is, but I'm seeing some type of drama, um, a like a big bombshell dropping. So I want to clarify this tower. Um, I do feel like, I, I, I do feel another energy here. I'm not going to lie, pal three. I'm feeling someone else in the picture. Someone, someone they possibly running to. I just heard, I just heard pal three. For some of you guys, they keep running back to their ex. And we are in a Mercury retrograde, so that makes sense. But I keep seeing something about an ex. Maybe this could be your ex as well. Okay, clarify the tower. Please clarify the tower. What is this tower energy here? Mm, the five of cups with this ace of swords and i keep seeing swords pal three you're going to find out something that is very disappointing about this person possibly what they were doing behind your back i'm seeing major disappointments i'm seeing you mourning and i'm also hearing if you continue on you're going to only see more of that dial diabolical person that they are okay you're gonna see it and it's gonna be very clear it's like this here's what i'm getting pal three you have been sent so many signs about leaving the situation and the more you stay the more the signs are going to become very prominent and unavoidable okay and i'm seeing um a queen of swords so yeah there is a i'm seeing a feminine again make sure you fit it based on your story so this could be you, this could be the person, the third person I'm seeing. Okay, clarify um, the devil card. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, it's like they're mediocre. They don't put in effort. They are not committal. They're non-committal, pal three. Unconventional. And um, they don't want something like your traditional committed monogamous relationship they they're just all over the place this person's for the street pal three i'm being completely honest with you they <sighs> yeah i don't i don't like this yep look neglect pal this is the um, four of wands reverse unstable they're very unstable but the thing is they're they're really good in bed okay they they are and maybe that's why some of you guys might be still stuck on this person. Like, because there's that sacral. I'm getting sacral energy. Yeah, they feed off of sacral energy, pal three. But let me ask you something. After, and this might be like TMI, but after you do the deeds with them, like after you get intimate, do you ever feel drained after that? Do you feel terrible? Does your mood do you go through mood swings? Are your emotions all over the place after you exchange with them in that way? Because I'm seeing they drain your sacral. It's a sacral attack, okay? And I'm also getting... <sighs> this is very spiritual. Like, whatever this is, this is a very spiritual thing. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who is spiritual. That's what I'm getting. But they are dark. This is like a dark empath. This is someone who, yeah, okay, that's that's why they know how to deal with people. That's why they know how to get what they want. They understand feelings and they use it. They, it's like they may show up as someone you can trust in, but they're really much unworthy and untrustworthy. This is someone you don't trust because they will stab you in the back. They will betray you in different ways. I don't understand why they do it, but this is how they are. They gain energy by exchanging it. Okay, this is this is like my phallic symbol. Why I can't help but to feel like they they're good at manifesting or they're good with like energy work. Page of Wands, yeah. They do one thing. They say one thing. And they do the complete opposite. 
Two of Wands. I'm seeing friction. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing, I keep seeing this Queen of Swords in the Gemini. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing Gemini energy. There's another person here. This is in this is a very intense situation, a very intense connection. Um, is this gonna last? Okay, the question of the day was, is this gonna last? This is not supposed to last. This is supposed to be only a temporary thing, pal three. And I'm gonna say this outright. You need to get the hell out. Get out of this situation because you are dealing with a straight up energy vampire, a parasite. This is someone who leeches off of sacral energy. And I can't help but to feel like they do energy work to keep people obsessed. Like I keep saying like magic. Do they do magic? Well, what is this? So I'm going to pull some more cards. I want to see more about this person. Like who are they? What else does Palpatine need to know? This is intense. I was not expecting this. Oh my gosh. Look what came out together. Deception. Mm -hmm. They're very tempting. This feels like um. And I'm not trying to scare y'all, but I'm being legit. Like, I don't know who this is. They feel like a succubus or incubus energy. Like, I'm getting that for real. Like, you know, we have history, the past. And then we have projected future. So there's going to be a lot of changes with this connection if you continue on in the future. But this is supposed to be history, okay? This, path, this, this situation is supposed to stay in the past and not come with you okay because this person is hella deceptive i feel like they're very attractive they have such charisma they can easily bring pull people in um something their sacral energy is very strong but yet so distorted okay stability harmony flow you're meant to regain harmony with yourself pal three you need to deep cleanse self love yep you need to deep cleanse. Put yourself first. Triggers. This this is a very triggering connection. Okay, it feels like a complete roller coaster. Um, and I w I'm not surprised, pal. Three. I feel like it's really difficult to walk away from this person. But you know what you need to do. You may even have dreams about them, because they they are spiritual. Whoever this is, either spiritual, or they're like very strong energetically but there's harm disharmony mm -hmm. bargaining and begging let me see what else does pal three needs to know trust divine timing time will reveal this person okay we have tuned in internet focus but okay i don't know pal three who are you dealing with this person likes people being obsessed with them and if someone isn't obsessed with them they will try to make them obsessed like who is this who are you dealing with child i'm trying to figure it out this person seems very weird like what okay i'm trying to see are do they do magic because i've low-key i'm getting energy work yeah they're a psycho girl boy listen i know you're lying travel vacation let me see what else does pal three need to know sleepless night. yeah sleep sleepless nights they they may have made you like have anxiety and have issues sleeping like i'm seeing you not be able to sleep because of this person and maybe you have intense dreams about them blocked you possibly blocked this person right or maybe you felt blocked off from no 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 it's you, you they didn't block you you blocked them you had to block them but because, okay so now i'm getting the now i'm getting the situation here someone blocked the other person and now there's something here about i want you to be obsessed with me now i want you to be obsessed i want you to come back to me like i'm seeing energy work frustrated yeah someone's frustrated because they're not getting what they want now they usually get what they want but you said no the truth mm -hmm. the truth is some maybe, maybe the truth came out during a vacation or a trip maybe you were on a trip options yeah someone kept their options open yeah and it's a karmic masculine so for my feminines out there you are dealing with like a incubus a karmic masculine that leeches all the sacral energy for my masculines maybe you're dealing with a karmic feminine okay yeah i left you heartbroken but someone is stalking and spying the other person, okay? 
someone is spying and stalking. Wow. Is there an energy, energy work happening with this? There may have been a pregnancy scare. This is crazy. Because I feel like this person's out in the streets. Like, they are literally very promiscuous i'm really i'm getting a very promiscuous person like they have an addiction and they're out here yeah then now we got the karmic feminine mm -hmm. so for my masculines maybe this is a karmic feminine there's something here about pregnancy scare yeah this is a major they are red flags whoever you're dealing with they're a major red flag rock bottom but here's the thing i feel like they're about to receive heavy karma though yeah there's evidence for something they're about to receive heavy karma there might be a fire sign or you are a fire sign they're ashamed and embarrassed. Mm. They're going to try to reconcile. So, pal three, yeah, as a past person, you, you, again, you need to make them history. They need to be, they need to stay in the past. They need to be as far away from you because, um, yeah, you heard that? Damn, that was a bird. Yeah, that, that's facts. That's facts. Okay. But it's like they, they play with people's sacral. Like, it's so weird. And they, they usually have people very obsessed and attached to them. So if you, so for my spiritual people, if you feel like someone put a spell on you, I think they did. They tried to. They tried to do it. That's why you feel like you need to protect yourself. You need to cleanse. And because I saw the magician with the devil cord and the seven of swords and the tower, that to me is like spell work. I feel like this is spell work. Some of them, and that's what, and remember, remember I said that they have their own demons to fight off? It could be quite literally. So, like I said, keep your distance from this person. They're very toxic. They're very unhealthy, unstable. There's possibly something wrong with them mentally. Like, you need to stay away. Okay. Jeez. Okay. I want. I just want to, I just want to confirm. Is there spell work? Like, did this person, did this person do spell work? Pal three is Pal three's situationship. Did they? Is there a spell work involved? Oh boy, we got the moon. The moon. It could be. I'm hearing moon magic. Oh, the eclipse. Something about the eclipse. But here's the thing, Pal three. You know about it. For those of you who are like, yeah, Jazz. I knew. I know they were doing it. This is confirmation for you. So. And the moon speaks of things that are hidden, things that are done, like, literally under the moon. Through a sword, but it backfired. I'm seeing something backfired. Yeah, it caused misfortune. So, let me just say, if they did do a spell, it, it backfired on them. It didn't work. King of Pentacles, yep. Justice, it didn't work. So, that tower moment, um... Pile three, there's a reason why you guys are being called to move away because they are about to go through a whole tower moment because not only are they such an, a terrible person, not only are they doing the, the utmost, okay? Not only are they in the streets, but because they're doing magic, like they're doing spell work, for those of you who resonate with this, they're about to receive some heavy karma. So you're being pulled out of the situation, Okay. Yeah, the chariot. You need to move away. You need to move on. I'm seeing you guys literally moving. Yeah, I see. Someone's going to have a mental breakdown because of this. Yeah. Mm. All right. So with that being said, pal three. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I have some lo-fi music playing and I looked up at the screen. The song that's playing is called No Return. So yeah, you're not supposed to return. This situation cannot come back. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull some cards. I want to see um, what they want to say to you. Oh, wait, that's the wrong That's the wrong deck. Okay. What does Pal 3's situation want to say to them? I have feelings towards you. Oh, wait, there's too many cards. We can just stay as friends. 
I was going through a lot. So they're going through a lot. Um, and I'm even saying, like, if you guys are not, if you guys don't get to, well, actually, you guys are not supposed to be together. But this person still wants you in their life. So they can even, they, they're they willing to settle as friends. It's so weird. Yeah, it says, I'm bitter about us. Okay, let me, let me get the other deck real quick. And then we'll end off the reading. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. You see? So we have, I need to figure myself out. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more. And we have, I'm stuck in visions of us together. Wow. So this person feels stuck right now. I know what I said was a lot. I know that your reading is longer, but I feel like I had to say this because you guys are dealing, I don't know who you're dealing with, but you, you need to move on. You need to move forward. Just know you will be receiving your justice, your karma, your good karma, and you just need to be away from this person. They're going to go through their own thing, okay? The eclipses are really going to be affecting them. This retrograde is going to be affecting them. So, pile three, stay protected. Know you are protected. Cleanse yourself and know how precious your energy is because that's why this person leeches. They like your energy because you there's something about you that keeps them like very hungry, you know? But they leech off of everyone. The reason why they do that is because they feel empty within themselves. That's why they keep jumping from person to person. That's why they are, they don't know how to be in a healthy relationship. They will never know how to be in a healthy relationship unless they try to heal themselves. But I don't feel like this person's healing anytime soon. So therefore, you need to leave. Go about your business. Heal. Take, if you need to cry it out, cry it out. But just know, this is done and over with. This is, this is the definition of a karmic relationship, okay? Some of y'all thought it was a twin flame because of how intense it was. Nah. This brought a lot of lessons for you to learn, but it's, it's over. It's, it's done and over with. You need to move forward, okay? So I'm seeing you guys lots of love. Lots of protection, okay? And just know, this is you'll get over this. And there's there's things better for you, okay, Power 3? Um, I hope I didn't scare you. Don't be don't be afraid, but I'm just letting you know this is what you, this is who you were dealing with, okay? Um but let me know your experiences and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.